morning Komodians. In today's video we're going to show you how to create your own blockchain. To complete this tutorial you're going to need two separate servers or devices and each one we're going to have to install or download the Komodo daemon binary. To get the binary installed we'll just go to the Komodo platform github page and we go to the Komodo repository there if you'd like to build it from source, there are instructions further down in the readme. Or if you'd prefer, you can go to the releases page and grab the latest binary for your operating system. So I'm doing this on Linux, so I'll just right click, copy the link address, head back to my terminal, and on both servers, download that zip file and then extract it. In order for the daemon to run we need to fetch the parameters so the first thing to do would be run that little shell script there. If these parameters have previously been downloaded and installed, it will detect that and exit the script. Otherwise, it'll take a little while for those to download. Uh, so grab a coffee and wait for that and join us back here in a minute. And once we've done that, we can select from a variety of custom parameters to define the nature of our chain. To see what these parameters are, we'll just go to the developers.komodo platform site. Click on the Antara framework link at the top and then click on the Antara customizations link on the side. So you can see here there's quite a variety of customizations that can be added. Most are optional. I'm going to keep it pretty simple today. And I'm just going to set the supply, halving and block reward. So let's just have a quick look at the documentation for some of these custom parameters. First and most importantly would be AC name, which is the name of your chain. This is pretty simple, it's just a short ticker to represent your coin. As you can see we've got that hello world example there. For my chain I'm going to set that to rock. Next parameter we'll have a look at is AC supply. And this defines the amount of pre-mined coins that will be generated in the genesis block. For my chain, I'll set that to 10,000. The next parameter we're going to choose is block reward, which is AC reward. And this is how many Satoshis worth of rock will be rewarded every time a block is mined. The last parameter we're going to set is AC halving, and this is how many blocks between the block reward halving. By default, this is literally a halving where the block reward will decrease 50% every time this number of blocks has passed. Although there are other options where you can tweak this to be a different amount. So you can see on average we get 1,440 blocks per day. So say I want to do a halving every year, I'll just do 365 times 1440 and that'll be my value for AC halving. And once we've chosen those values, we just have to put together the launch string for our chain. So that'll start with Komodo AC name, and my name was Rock, AC supply, which I said was 10,000. AC reward, which I'll set at 8.88, and AC halving, which we calculated to be 525600. Now the AC reward, I don't have that value in Satoshis at the moment, so we're just going to have to do another little conversion, and we'll replace that in our command string. We'll copy that command and head back to the terminal. 
And in our first server, just want to get into the folder where the Komodo binary is. And here we can launch that command. So you can see that is spun up. It's got our 10,000 supply there. Our halving. It's created a conf file for me. And here's the details of the ports that will be used by this chain. So I'm just going to copy a couple of those values back to my text file for future reference. And to make sure that the Genesis block is mined to the correct address, we're just going to create a new address and get the pub key for it. To do that, we'll use the komodo-cli command. We we'll use the get new address method to create an address. And then we'll use the validate address method to get that address as pub key. And we can save that pub key to our text file as well. With this information, just for future convenience, I'll create a launch script. And we want to launch this chain with the pub key set so that when we mine the Genesis block, the coins go into our address and we'll just make that script executable. We'll also have a look at the conf file and you can see in there our RPC port has been set. It's automatically created RPC user and password for us. One thing we can add here is the pub key as well, so that even if we forget to launch the chain with the pub key parameter, it will be implemented via the conf. And the last thing we need to do is to open the peer-to-peer -peer port to allow it to communicate through the firewall so that server 1 and server 2 can communicate. Now make sure it's the peer-to-peer -peer port that you are opening, not the RPC port. Next we'll repeat those same steps on the second server. Now we can stop the daemon on both servers and restart with a pub key, or we can just use the set pub key method to set it without having to restart. And to confirm that has all worked as expected, we can run the get info command, and you can see that the pub key has appeared in the response. The last thing we need to do to make sure that server 1 and server 2 can communicate is to run the add node command so we can add the IP address of the opposite server. Just going to open another window for our first server and we can tail the debug log with the following command and we can run the set generate command which will start us mining. And you can see there it's told us that we are, have started mining and there we go proof of work found Genesis block has been mined and pretty quickly after that looks like we generated another block with a block reward of 8.88 as we had set previously. So if I was to check my balance now, there you go. And if we check the block height, you can see I've actually mined the first three blocks here. Now to make sure that both servers are in sync, we'll run that get block count on the second server as well. 
and we can see that the blocks are progressing there so it is recognizing that blocks are being mined and the chain is progressing another double check you might want to do is to send some of the genesis block funds to your second server's address so we'll just scroll back up and copy that address and we'll run the send to address command and we'll share a few of those coins So if I was to check the balance down on the second server now, it should have 762 rock in its wallet. You beauty. And that there is how easy it is to start a new smart chain on Komodo platform. So where do we go from here? In future videos, I'll show you how to set up a block explorer so that people can go to a simple website and have a look at transaction histories and their balances and everything else how to set up a mining pool how to set up an electrum server and once we've done all that how we can list this coin on the atomic dex desktop app if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comments section of this video or catch up with us on the komodo platform discord have a good one